Brian.
Yeah, cause I'm safe. 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 Yeah, cause I'
All right, hello everybody. Uh, we are going to be getting started soon, hopefully. Um, we are just waiting on Acer to get online as well as Subtanko to get here. We will be casting those two to start with. If you'd like to join in, uh, exclamation mark Discord in the chat will, of course, get you into the server. We will, after the first one, be looking to add some additional people potentially if you do have the Dreams PS4 beta. Um, the way this will work is there's going to be a 30 minute time limit. I'll give a theme to the people taking part right before that starts. They will get 30 minutes to build whatever they want in relation to that, whether it is audio, like a music of some sort, a logic creation, a sculpt, a scene. You can do whatever you want in those 30 minutes in any way related to the prompt and just kind of go wild to your heart's content. So I will just start. Uh, pop in with RBD while we wait for Subtanko. Acert is uh, going to be starting up his stream. Hello, RBD. Hello. How are you doing on this fine day? I am doing great on this fine day. How are you doing on this fine day? Pretty good because you've got John's uh, beautiful pool table on stream. Yeah. No, I, I made this actually. Oh, yeah. You remixed it and uh, yeah, this is your... Yeah, and I just published it without changing anything. Yeah, classic so move. <laughs> you really did put a lot of detail into this though. Yeah, this is. This would be impressive even if it weren't made in dreams, honestly. Is uh, there any camera angle that actually shows the balls going into the table? Uh, I don't know how you change camera angles. I don't yes. think he has any button prompts. I don't know. There's, yeah. So, like, you can see one down there now. Or you will in a few seconds, I guess, because Twitch delay. True. Oh, yeah. Dang. And apparently, I also saw on Twitter that he didn't even use Dreams' physics engine to do, like, the billiards collisions. He actually, like, programmed it himself using, what? like, gadgets. Because apparently, like, the, uh, like, rolling things doesn't work super well. So he made, like, his own sort of thing which is also super impressive yeah incredibly uh, I have Acert switch unmuted all right well Acert's online just waiting on Subtanko now um, and then we can get started Croso said he was not going to be able to join unfortunately so Damn. He's on that Minecraft grind. I might just start without Subtanko, and then if he does join, we can go ahead without him anyways. Or with him, then, I mean, rather. Sounds good. Do you have a theme in mind already? I've got a few, actually. I don't know how long you guys have or how many you want to take part in, but I've got a couple that are pretty good. Saku already did one. Um, he's rendering a video because he can't actually stream. So if that ever gets rendered in time, we'll probably try and do that theme if we're gotcha. still going then. But uh, yeah, so I'll just tell you the theme now for this one as soon as I switch the OBS over. Oh, wait, we're not waiting for, shouldn't we hear the theme at the same time? I'm going to message it to Acer. He actually can't join Discord, I guess. So, and he might oh, okay. even be watching the stream. Cool.
So theme is going to be geometric for the first one. Whatever you can do in relation to that. Hmm. Geometric. Am I allowed to Google things? Yeah, you can do whatever. It has to be all your own uh, creations other than the MM audio library. You can use that. Oh, damn. From scratch as well. You can't use pre-made assets that you've got. Once I see Acert is actually into a creation, I'll get you guys started. Am I allowed to ask my chat for help? Sure. You can do whatever you want, RBD. All right. Cool. You can crowdsource your ideas, get them to collaborate with you. All right, he is in his level, so I'm going to start a timer now. I'll mute myself so that you can focus and talk to your chat as well, and uh, we'll just get it going, I guess. Sure. So time is going to start right now. Good luck. Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to swap over right away to this. View Acert's perspective first. He's already moving in with a puppet. So I wonder what he's actually gonna be doing for this is geometric is a pretty varied theme. You can do a lot of things with that. Um, he's actually using the move. Oh, stream went offline. I guess we're gonna be swapping to, oh, oh maybe. Well, we'll swap over to RBD real quick, see what he's doing. He's going in with the clone tool and using the uh, clone arrays. So yeah, there's a lot you could be doing with the theme geometric. Um, specifically, I think there's some really interesting things you can do with the clone array like RBD was showing because you can do things in such a um, inorganic way with it if you want. He's going to be crowdsourcing his ideas as well, so potentially stream chat will help him a little bit more with that one. We'll see if Acert is back online. He is. So we'll swap back over to. There we go. So looks like he's going to be doing something with the mirror tool as well. That's a good way to go about it. I do like the idea of um, being able to modify one side and then just have everything reappear on the other give it a interesting look has disabled it though oh no we're back on <laughs> seems like he's actually just having a bit of struggle getting started but not easy to just jump into the 30 minute builds they are a little bit more difficult to figure things out with RBD still spinning his wheels as well. That's no problem, though. I'm sure he'll figure something out soon enough uh, as he does get into it. I'm going to add in. The... Actually, let's take a listen in to RBD, see what he's talking hour. about. 4.38 is when I'm done. Already spent three minutes trying to think of ideas. Let's get some assets in here. So <laughs> he's already very conscious of the clock, it seems. Three minutes in, not quite sure what he's going to be doing quite yet. I'm sure once he starts going, though. This is one where you can copy something over a lot and then uh, really make a scene come into form after that. Fortunately, still do not have Subtenko online, so the solo cast coming through for this one. Is there is stuck on something as well. If we take a listen in, maybe we can see what he's stuck on. Maybe it could be a 2D game. 
That would be kind of cool. I have not made a 2D game in Dreams yet. I'm just going to remind him. a 2D game, though. Screw it. I'm making a 2D game. I'm going to make a 2D game side-scroller. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, what the heck? Am I going to use this? <laughs> Am I going to use this? Um, what could this be? Just remind him quickly that he doesn't have to make a game. It can be a scene if he wants to. He doesn't have to go full in depth. It is a lot harder to make full assets from scratch in 30 minutes. You don't really realize how little time it is until you actually get into this because really, once you've got sort of the first few things down, you want to be copying them a lot to reuse those assets in ways that are a little bit varied to spice up your scene quickly so that you have extra time to add finishing touches, polish things, make sure it all looks good towards the end. We are, of course, on RBD side right now. He is looking to use a couple different basic shapes. I like the look of this, actually. Uh, so he's using the um, primary colors as well as some of the basic shapes just to try and get something working. I wonder if he's going to be trying for a scene or like a set of objects. He's restarted again, it looks like. So he's not quite sure what he actually wants to be doing. He's using the DualShock 4 controllers as well. So he's not actually going in with those moves. Uh, the move controllers would, of course, speed this up. But the moves do give you a little, or the uh, DualShock rather, does give you a little bit more precision when you're trying to move things on the grid like this, I find. We'll swap back over to Acer just for a little bit. He's back at his 2D side scroller, it looks like he's getting into. Trying to line up the camera. This is a good move, actually, if he's setting up the camera. The first thing you want to do really um, is get that camera down so you have a perspective. You can always jump back into, take a look at, see what's going on there, and decide how things are going to look. He's already getting into logic though, so this will definitely increase the amount of uh, things he's got to juggle while he's trying to make this. We'll see how deep into the logic he can get. I'm surprised that he's actually willing to go for this just on the first time he's trying something. The logic really does take a lot of extra time. I'm going to add in the audio as well. It's going to be loud here just a second. Oh, I added that into RBDs, that's why. Add it in on both. So that there's a little bit of background audio. I know it's a little bit quiet without the stream audio. We will, of course, listen into them as we are going, though. We'll take back another look at RBD Jellyfish, though. Transition over to him. Looks like he has decided to still go with that geometric shape um, for the basics of it. But he's not going with the multicolored uh, design this time around. He's just going with the one blue hexagon this time. I wonder if he's trying to make a little game as well, as that's what uh, Acert is doing. Or if he's just going to go for a scene. The scene is definitely easier. <laughs> RBD again is starting over. He's struggling a little bit with this, it seems. Unless he's hiding them. He could be hiding them, but with how low his uh, thermometer is, I don't think that's the case. It does look like he's actually deleting them. Uh, join me at Subtanko. So we may be getting a color commentator in here with me. Now, Subtanko does appear to be online. That'll be nice. We'll have another person to bounce our commentary off of. Always makes it a little bit easier. So we're back to the three uh, simple shapes here for RBD with the primary colors as well. I wonder if he'll do another scene with these or if he's going to try and make some physics with them. Still hard to tell in these early stages. We'll check back in with Acer real quick. Does look like he is still trying to go through the logic for this. He does have his camera set up though, so that's a good start. Oh, 
disregard that. He's instantly deleted the camera. He's not uh, set up with it yet. I wonder if he's gonna be, how he's actually gonna be doing this. Oh no, okay, the camera is still there. It's just in the microchip, my bad. So I wonder how he'll actually be doing this. If he's gonna have the scene move or if he's gonna have a character move across the plane there, and how simple he's gonna go. We are already um, just about 10 minutes now into this. So with only 20 minutes remaining, he's not got a whole lot of time left to actually program in the logic for this. So he's really got to step up the pace if he wants to actually get a moving game in there. Let's check back in with RBD again because he was, of course, struggling a little bit. We'll listen in as well, see what he's thinking right now. Should probably turn off the grid also so I can like be a bit more free form with them. Uh, and I need more shapes. So still looking through the shapes, trying to be a bit more freeform this time. Of course, with geometric, you don't have to be uh, right on the grid. The grid can add a lot of things. And hello, Subtenko, welcome. If you are speaking, I don't think your mic is coming through. Well, Subtenko does get that sorted out. Uh, Looks like Acert is trying to get the logic in on his moving piece now. He simplified it down to just the triangle rather than the prism that he had earlier. Prism certainly could have been an interesting way to do it. I wonder if he's actually going to go for like just a side scroller or if he's going to go for like... It looks like he could go for a space-themed geometric thing here. With 20 minutes on the clock though, not a whole lot of time left to really make that decision. Got to start programming in the logic for it very quickly at this point. He's already got a controller in there, but still will need the movement sensor and everything. Does already have his mover in there. So he should be splitting up the inputs for the left stick now to get that working for just the x-axis already of course trying to look at what that will be he's got it on the grid properly so he should be able to get it in pretty quickly now at this point it's just a matter of actually programming the movement to a place that feels at least manageable and getting in probably an enemy or something not sure what Jellyfish. he's going for hey he has been using the dual sock forward does he have that ready or he's been using the, use the moves uh he's I think switching over to the moves now. He was using the DualShock 4 the entire time. Um, do you have Acer's Twitch stream? Or do you need me to link that to you, Subtenko? No, I'm watching off the... Oh, okay. Watching... Yeah. So, am I still on RBD? Is that why? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're currently spectating RBD and... There's I'm both sure. links to the Twitch, I suppose. Now we are on RBD. Um, I was on Acert. I guess I had that mixed around. That was my bad. So Acert's got the same situation, um, moves too, or... Yeah, he's been using the moves from the very beginning, but RBD just swapped over to the moves now, as we saw. He's trying to get in something with the primary shapes. He was really stuck for a while. For like the first 10 minutes, he kept making things and deleting them. And now with only about 15 minutes, or sorry, 17 minutes left, he's not got a whole lot of time to actually finish off something quite as polished, whereas Acer, he kind of decided on something the first three minutes or so, and he's been going with that since. Yeah, that could be quite of a uh, time sucker. Just sometimes you got to take note of what Kareem's been saying in past streams and say, just just go, just go for it. Place stuff down. Don't think about it too much. Yeah, Place that's, those primary shapes in. That's super you know true. I think Kareem as well, like most of his advice has been sort of geared towards this idea of just building things extremely quickly. And cloning. Yes, cloning, especially in this as well, cloning helps a ton. If you can get like a couple shapes down, and for the theme right now is geometric, of course. So if you can get a couple of objects down, you can just clone those a ton. And with the array, it makes it already look extremely geometric. There's certainly a lot of time that could be saved going forward now that RBD has actually started things. I 
And when it comes to cloning too, we have to keep the original shape, if I recall correctly. That yeah. means cloning from the original object. Yeah, you can size it, but it will um, it will allow you to actually um, clone them slightly differently. At the very I least, RBD has a camera now as well. So I'm currently spectating RBD if you want to try and sync up. I don't know if you open both streams up or not. No, let me, I'm going to switch to... That way you don't have to watch off my stream because you're going to have a delay there and that'll make it a little bit diff more difficult to see what we're actually looking at. Switching to A-search now. If RBD does start coloring his geometric shapes, though, he could actually get a pretty good looking scene. I'm just going to listen into him quickly, see what he's actually thinking. Wait, how many of each shape do I have? Alright, Acer's still these. messing with these logic chips and a microchip. You're viewing Acer, you said? Yeah. I'll swap over to him. He's explaining something. I got it. I got him on mute. His up but, and down um... is down now. All right, cool. So now. Oh, okay. Let's... He's already got the actual like movement in for his character. So he, with about 15 minutes left, that's actually pretty good. He could now add in some enemies or something. Um, I don't know if he's looking for like a geometry dash type thing, but that's not too bad, especially considering how stuck he was at the beginning. If you were in here, Subtanko, what would you actually be looking to do with the theme geometry? Where would be your first steps? Honestly, I could relate to uh, Jellyfish, I believe, because <laughs> when you, could, you could totally get stuck in this game. Um, and knowing that after going through that once with a time limit, yeah, I just start going place placing an object until something popped up in my head because I think that's one issue that Acer's gonna face as the time crunch does kind of come down a little bit as he's got to have... contemplate stuff like that I'm not sure if he was doing that with the logic itself trying to wrap his head around that um, yeah but that just goes to show you that that area or that problem could happen in more than one area in dreams it could happen with logic um how a sculpt should be paint whatever it just you got to be careful with it Mm, for sure. Um, if we do actually tune back into RBD as well, it looks like he is starting to get something looking like... Uh, I think he's trying to make a face there, potentially. It looks like he might have eyes on the top, and then he's getting like a neck or tail or something coming down from the side. Definitely working with the primitives though, for sure, just for this. He's still got a fair amount of time with what he's trying to do though, I think to make something look pretty good with uh, the idea that he's gone for. Hello, Shape Your Dreams, how are you? What do you think of what RBD's got so far for himself here in his scene? Considering I'm still not sure, I'm still not sure what he's going for. Um, it, I mean, it's shaping up, but it's very, it's not loose, but the the geometry's loose. Which I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but yeah. it seems that there's a little more thinking going on still with RBD um, versus a cert. He did say he was going to try and crowdsource some ideas from the chat, so maybe that actually is what's holding him up at this point. He's still trying to crowdsource the ideas. Pick it all up and lift it, says Fire Thief. Exactly. Let's take another look not, back at sure Acer. Go ahead. I mean, well, what I'm thinking is he could do something with physics. Um, I'm not sure if those shapes that he's placing down are movable. 
but he could do a physics-based scene um, and place the camera down, doing a quick animation, perhaps. Yeah, you certainly can with the keyframes as well. That's very quick to throw in a timeline and move things around. Acert, though, if you tune back into his stream, he's actually already got some firing mechanics in for his little potentially ship, it might be. He's already got it emitting. I'm trying to make it look a little bit better now and more like a bullet, I guess. But so far, that's looking pretty good, all things considered. Okay, so has he hooked it up to the controller logic yet um, with uh, uh, any action buttons or anything? Yeah, it does look like it's hooked up in some way. Uh, yeah, there. There you go, a little top-down view. And he's got the movement in already, so if he can just add some things to fire at, that's a pretty complete scene for 30 minutes. And it's nothing too crazy so far, but of course he was stuck at the start, so very good comeback from him, I suppose, to get it looking like this. Let's see what Arby's doing. Arby's yeah. selecting all the shapes. Uh, I'm, maybe he will probably do an exploder kind of sequence. Or... Yeah, that's something that you could look at for sure. He's loosening them, so slightly less geometric now perhaps. But yeah, like you said, um, you could do something like what John was showing on stream the rock. two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Um, I know you said you were experimenting with that as well, Sam. Um. With an, I, I was experimenting with animation in general, but uh, there's more than one way to do things. And I believe John used the um, force amplifier. If I is it's, it's some kind yeah. of force logic. I think that's what it was, and then um, used the cutout tool to like uh, cut apart the pieces, which I think was an interesting way of doing it as well. Might not be what RBD is going for, though. It does look like he's trying to make, I don't know, floating alien or something. Of course, Acerd, if... <laughs> I gotta say it would be interesting if Acerd did, the, um, did that technique with his uh, little fighter 2D shooter going on. Sure. Simply just make a just a simple object, fire, have a tag on it or so, and make it emit an animation from a keyframe. Yeah, and if you hit um, whatever the is at the other end, you could just have it explode then. That would be a pretty good way of tying things together at the end. Because there is nine minutes left, so still just a little bit of time, but not very much now at this point. In the final ten minutes, you kind of want to be focusing on finishing up the final details, making sure it's a little bit more polished. There's still a lot of things that both of them have to get done. I've got to say though, if you're if somehow somebody's really stuck on an idea for too long, let's say it's it's been thirty minutes, but it's a thirty minute stream, but there's it's been fifteen minutes in, and you come up with an idea that's not so great in your opinion, I would just go with that idea and make the best of it. Yeah. Plus, there's going to be more afterwards, so messing up on one idea isn't so bad. You can just sort of power through it, go for. Uh... The finish, I suppose, and see what you can actually come up with in the end. I find it funny as well when you look at RBDs. If you tune into his stream right now, when you're looking through the camera, everything looks like it's perfectly aligned. But when you are not in the camera, you see how all the geometric shapes are sort of spread out. I wonder if he's going to do something with that where he'll have like the camera pan around it and you'll see it all sort of like expand outwards. You know what? It, it looks. <laughs> It looks like uh, shapes can look different from any for anybody, but it looks like a jellyfish geometry, yeah. geometry jellyfish. I was just gonna say, game. I think he's literally making his own logo, but geometrically. I don't know how I couldn't see it at, at first, but now it makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of clever, actually. I like that. I like that. Perhaps. I, I oh, yes, yeah, he, he just cloned the camera. Okay. So it, he will probably be doing something where he's moving the camera outwards so that you can see, like, the geometric shapes as they pass by. Well, I didn't see Jellyfish's stream from the start, but how long ago did you say that this idea could have possibly started to form? 
five minutes in or from the start perhaps. it was almost 10 minutes in he deleted things like a number of times he was starting with like some colored geometric shapes trying to get some um different shapes as well and then he settled on like a blue hexagon for a little bit and then he deleted that as well before actually ending up at this and now he's sort of got the timeline in there so it looks like he'll probably be doing something with the transitions there between them Acert, on the other hand, who we haven't checked in with a while, his logic is starting to explode a little bit. It looks like he's getting a little slightly complex, so to speak, for uh, almost six minutes remaining. I wonder what he'll be able to finish up with it as well. He's trying to get some nodes in. I think he still is just on that one fighter, so I wonder if he's just trying to refine the, the little plane that he's got. Or if he's actually going to try and add in some of those things you were talking about. From like a gameplay perspective, I think it would be cool to have the additional things in, but I don't know if he actually has the time from for that with uh, how much is actually left on the clock now. I think something Jellyfish should do is just mess with some paint, do some simple animations with paint. If you want to do any kind of animation, paint's pretty much the fastest way to do it. Because the, the tools, the style menu is all right in the menu. Oh, there we go. He's got the yeah. rotation in towards the logo. I do like that. That looks good. That's a nice transition in. I didn't uh, realize you could actually do that as well, where you have the transitions in the timeline. I figured you'd have to move the camera around, but that's actually a pretty cool way of doing it. Oh yeah, timelines are universal in Dreams. Timelines and text gadgets, the two strongest uh, allies you have in the Dreams beta, for sure. I don't know how much messing around you've done with the text gadget, but it looks like there's a lot of really interesting things you can actually do with it. Oh yeah, text gadget for the win. Um, everything just about combining techniques and if if people wanted to, they could combine the text gadget with a geomet geometric shape. So just all about combining what you learn. Speaking of the text gadget, actually, it looks like RPD has broken one out. So I wonder what he'll be trying to add with it in there. He's sort of trying to keep it out of the timeline. <laughs> keeps popping right. into the timeline though it's probably going to be a simple like title or something to touch it up but with four minutes left i'm kind of i'm kind of worried about acert now um because like his scene is really nice but i feel like it's it should just finish up with um some kind of ai enemy simplified uh you know obviously nothing yeah complex just like move up and down type thing so, and you can shoot at it he is trying to add in additional shapes right now, so maybe that is what he's going for in the end. I certainly agree with you, though, that he's got to have something other than just the movement, I think, if he really wants to call this like a complete scene. He's certainly gone outside of the box, though, as I personally, anytime I've done one of these, I have not dabbled in to the uh, logic, as that just has always felt like it's going to be so time-consuming to get some logic in there. So I do think he's pretty brave for doing that. Well, in my opinion... Um... By the time the timer hits zero, he should have that platform just deleted. Um, if there's no if there's no kind of other scenery, he should just have it completely sky sky boxed. Yeah, that's a good idea as well. I think he is adding in uh, red. I wonder if it's going to be like a ship that passes in front. He's already colored his uh, original player ship blue. I think he's um, falling into some yeah. old habits. He's renaming microchips now, which is a good practice for all of you at home who might be creating things and publishing them for other people. But when you're in a time constraint like this, I think that's a bit of a uh, frivolous use of your time.
Two Don't miss my being up strong, uh, finishing stronger with a simple title. Yeah, I do like how his has turned out. I wasn't sure where he was going with it originally because uh, it looked pretty messy when he was first starting it, but it looks really nice now that he's actually finished up this. Using the keep changes feature, uh, very handy. Almost critical for 90% of what people might want to do when it comes to keyframes. Oh, he's got a nice little zoom in at the end there too. That's good. This is uh, looking pretty good for him. If we do take one final look at Acer though, as we are in the final minute just about here, he is trying to set up some tags. So I wonder if he's actually going to be able to finish up something here. I'd like to see him take another swing at another logic puzzle now that he's had this first go at a 30 minute uh, dream because I think he was sort of hooked up originally with um, just trying to figure things out rather than just starting to build. Enemy spawn. I guess he's about to emit some enemies in 40 seconds. Yeah, he's got 40 seconds to emit them. So if he can get them out there, I'll be really impressed. I think he's the one we got to focus on. They don't have they don't have to have AI. Just just emit something. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you know. just put them at the other end and you can shoot at them, I don't think it needs to actually do anything when they hit them. If you can just have something at the other end at this point, it might be good. There is 10 seconds left. That is going to be time. I will let him know in his chat. As he is not, unfortunately, in the Discord. But All right. that is it. I uh, texted uh, Jellyfish in the Twitch chat. Yeah, we will uh, actually go join him just quickly. Hello, Mr. RBD. Hello. I like Come what on, you've man. done here. This is pretty cool. Thanks. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> <laughs> You were really stuck at the beginning, though. That was funny to watch as well, because like the first like five, eight minutes, you would like make what started to look like something that could be cool, and then you just delete everything and come back to the start again. Yeah, I mean, I had I had like safety ideas where it would just be like a simple platformer or whatever, in case I couldn't think of anything else. And then, yeah, yeah good idea popped up in chat, and. Well, Acert, I think he's still trying to finish up some stuff. I don't know. Uh, based on what he finished with the time, though, he was actually diving into the logic. He was trying to make, like, a 2D shooter, and he actually got pretty far into it. He was missing the enemy spawns at the end, but he had, like, a flying ship and everything that could shoot. It seemed like he was starting to make a, a mini game instead of a tech demo. It's ambitious. He started naming the microchips, and that's when we knew he'd run out of time. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't waste your time naming microchips when you only have 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, so if you would like to take part in some more, if we can get a hold of Acert, he is still building away, it looks like. Um, I do have some other themes, if you'd like to take part in them. Um, I don't know. Should probably figure out. It's like I want to hear the theme first and see if I want to do it, but that's cheating, obviously. Now let's see what, what's Acer. He, he's got a mic up. Uh, so Acer's not in the. Um... No, he's not in the Discord. He, I, cause he, uh, he's streaming directly from the PS4, whereas RBD has like a capture card. So he's still taking a little swing at this. He gets a notification every time somebody sends a message and then checks it on his phone. <laughs> it works well, I guess, when you're just streaming, but trying to communicate like this is a little bit more difficult. Okay. He, he's actually pretty much finished his, uh, little bit of logic. Well, I'd like to see what he actually finishes with here, just because he did spend that extra couple minutes on it. Well, I'm mute as well. All right. <laughs> Goes a little fast, but you know, 
So here we go, guys. <laughs> it is a uh... what? What am I? What are my thoughts on what? He's asking what your thoughts are, Subtanko. I will wait for you to respond. Oh, on my, on your build. Oh, oh, <laughs> you're not talking to me. I'm an idiot. Sorry. I am an idiot. Should I make this my profile background? Yeah, I'd, yes. lo I, I'd love to. See I think that's actually a really cool this. idea. What you did with your Zerbi. This is this is a short amount of time. I agree. It was a cool idea. I, was I wish I thought of it. Gameplay. So. So if you weren't, if say again, like you weren't, if you didn't get any like ideas per se, um, you had a back, a back idea. My backup was just gonna be like make a platformer, but only use really simple shapes for everything. Hmm. Or that's the only idea I had at the moment. So. The, the, shape the other. Make anything. I guess, I was also thinking like making really low geometry art, but I'm not an artist, so I really didn't want to do that. You don't think there was enough time to make um, a classic game uh, like Acer seems to be doing here? I mean, someone said make Silent Hill 2. <laughs> so, and that, that That's was ambitious. Honest, but, you know, yeah. You could have made a painting. How good, are you with the paint? How good are you with the paintbrush or the spray paint? Wait, what'd you say? As far as like flat painting, how good are you at painting? Oh, rooms? I'm awful. You, that's I just, think that's I'm better at 3D art than I am at 2D art, which is saying something because I'm awful at 3D art as well. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I should publish this. Sure, if you'd like. Um... Give it a better title. <laughs> I can reveal another theme to you if you want to see if you like it. Uh, Acert seems to be finishing up. He actually did already get spawning in for enemies, it looks like. I don't know if he can fire at them and kill them, but that's not bad. Like yeah, an extra visual. six minutes or so. Is it like a top-down sort of yeah. thing? Yeah. If you, uh, I'll send you the link to his Twitch. You just look at it quickly. Uh... Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was looking for him to finish with, um, but. Time did not permit. I know as well, you started with a dual shock RBD. <laughs> was that yeah. intentional or did you just forget to switch to the moves? Uh I mean it was intentional when I was thinking about like making a game. Because I like to use the DS4 for like logic and music and that kind of stuff. And just like general level design. And when I'm doing like pure sculpting, I'd rather use the move controllers. So then when I realized I was going to be doing sculpting and like moving things around in 3D space, I was like, move controllers are probably a better idea. Not a bad technique. Acer's wondering what the next theme could be. All right. Well, if uh, RBD is willing to play along. I'll do one more. I'll, I'll give you a couple of options, I suppose, and you can pick from them based on what you think is best. Oh wait, I gotta, I wanna see. Well, never mind. Yeah, you can, you can go ahead and tell me. So the first one I had was Nordic. I don't know how you feel about that. I, I don't feel very confident in being able to do something Nordic. What about forest? Forest? I, I could get away with forest. Well, as Ed said yesterday on the stream, the true way to tell how somebody's building is in the way they make trees. What does that mean? It was just uh, like everybody has their own way of making trees so far in dreams. I don't think I've ever made a tree in dreams. Well, no time like the present. Or I have two ideas. I could make an actual forest or I could do something else. Which would be funnier, but would be harder, probably. Well, I'm going to set up the timer. 
Go for it. Acer oh, like actually has a pretty good looking game now. Um, we'll wait for his response. He's Acer. looking. All right, for the next game. All right, oh, yeah, let's I gotta it. look at his All right, stream. He's, he's going. He's going. So if uh, you're ready, then. Um. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Well, let's. Uh, we will move ourselves back down, and we will start the clock in just a minute. Once I see that he's actually saved his level. That's what I was thinking, Alan. You're not a portrait, but I'll I'll explain when we start. You've got the advantage of additional time here, so I'm expecting great things from you, RBD. Oh man. All right, he's moved back into game scene, so you can start immediately, RBD. We'll start the timer. All right. Good luck. All right, Subtanko, you ready for attempt number two at this? Let's let's do it. All right, timer is started. Thirty minutes on the clock. Acert already in his level. I don't know if he's trying to think through things right now, or if he's just waiting for us to tell him to start. I hope he's not waiting for us to tell him to start, though. <laughs> he said, "Let's go." RBD did get a little bit of extra time, so we'll take a look at him first, see if he's already starting work on things. All right, Acer's getting the moves. Yeah, this is one I think you definitely want the move controllers for. The trees are considerably more organic than the last thing he was doing. A lot harder to do logic for a forest as well, so he's kind of got a sculpt for this one. RBD is breaking out the larger blocks as well. He said he's not even made a tree before, so I think that's interesting. I feel like that was most people's sort of um, one of their first five things they did. It was like somebody made something like really, really bad that for the first thing, then they maybe made like a rock or a tree. I don't know what you made first, Subtanko. If you didn't make a tree, you used one. Yes, um, exactly. I made a tree and I joined in. It was my first tree was a winter pine. Ah, very nice. So you took part in the winter challenge, the original one. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Decorated it a little bit for the winter theme. Yeah, it was nice to get beat by Auntie Rich. Technically, it's a grand fur. I looked up the category online. Ah, so you used reference images then. As best as I could. <laughs> I like what RBD is doing here. There's a real advantage for trees specifically with the move controllers. He's using the curve now though, but um, you can actually resize as you're uh, using the smear tool with one hand while you smear with the other. So you can make some pretty organic looking branches just by changing the size as you move your hand. Moves for the win. Yeah, they make- I'm a move advocate. Yeah, they make it so much easier. Okay, he's he's going for that big grand kind of tree. Yeah. Well, while he sets that up, let's check in with Acert to see what he is actually getting done. <laughs> he's got a. Uh, Looks like a. What are they called? Crackers. Yeah. <laughs> well, he did. He did mention um, that it's some something about underground. Oh. So he's, hmm. I guess making the base for the tree. Oh, yeah, that could be an interesting uh, way to do it, actually. If you do, like, underneath the ground, you have, like, roots coming through the ground as, like, an alternative way to do tree rather yeah, than actually having to do the leaves. A weathered kind of, like, ground area from one side of the tree and the other can just be, like, fine. Yeah, that would be a cool idea, too. There's a lot of interesting ways you could take forest because you don't have to show a full forest to have the idea of forest, right? Okay, jellyfish just... Okay, Jellyfish is switching an idea. Is he? Yeah, I don't think he's going for that giant tree anymore. He is, not, not the same kind. He's starting in with some uh, big green leaves. I wonder how much he'll actually change things with looseness as well, because you can make the tree leaves look a lot better with 
fair amount of looseness or if he's going to keep like this sort of whimsical look to them because you can make a very different scene by having um the the balls just look like this and not be blended together i think he used the color wheel yeah yeah he's using the color wheel too for the um different tree part um hues I think it's a good start, though. It's much more reminiscent of like a little big planet tree, I'd say, than something that um, a lot of the people have been making so far in Dreams. But I do like how it's looking. So he is loosening up as well. That does actually look a lot like the little big planet tree now. I'm not going to lie. Bringing a character into the scene with jellyfish. Basic puppet, get some kind of scale or perspective. He's turned on mirror. Is he making a tree person? Hmm. Some kind of forest. The people of the forest, perhaps? Well, while he does get it sorted, I'll... Take another look at Acert. He is, yeah, it looks like he is focusing specifically on the roots. So you might be right where he's going for just the base of the tree there to get to like a uh, nice look on it. No I could all, you think just, just the tree itself? Yeah. Plus at the very end, like there's always the option to just copy your one tree like 10 times behind it so that it looks more like a forest. You can kind of cheat this theme a little bit with that, where copying things really does speed it up. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good way to do it. Um, focus on the main thing and then do the extras later. But I'm wondering if, if Jellyfish is... Jellyfish is putting some more focus into this character. Ooh, he's even getting out the text displayer as well. <laughs> so this will be, I think he might be going for a little bit more meme-oriented one here, potentially. We'll see how it turns out. He did surprise us last time where he went with the full jellyfish logo, and I think that was a pretty good idea in the end. Oh, some kind of tribalistic force, perhaps. wonder if he'll change the ground at all either or keep it as just the... Um, basic sort of ground ooh the text box in the scene you could probably change up the lighting um wasn't a jellyfish that uh, he, i think he used that sky tool yeah. last scene to darken it out so wonder if what kind of like setting he's going to use for this <laughs> wonder if he's just going to keep it default is this i think i know what he's doing now <laughs> If you take a look at the text box, it looks like he might be going for a Forrest Gump theme here. Oh, that threw me <laughs> off. I, I was looking at... I'm, oh, okay, never mind. This I is, thought it was the run scene. I thought it was the other run scene. The, which one? This is actually, um, I guess, the uh, girlfriend of Forrest or whatever. Actually saying that. I thought it was another scene. In, in, <laughs> okay, I, I get it. Like this is, this, is, this is interesting, though. It's a neat take on it. Um, certainly a different way to do forest. He has a considerable amount of time left though. There's still 22 minutes left. So I wonder how he'll actually spice up this scene because there's a lot of time for him to add extra details, make it look really nice. Well, let's... Acert is, Acert is going he's really thinking about these curves and these roots um i do like the look of the stump of his tree but so far it's a small amount of a forest i think you will the, have the, to heavily rely on the multiplication of his tree later on the, yeah the thing well the thing about it is he's he's really paying attention to like the exact curve of the end of the root which mm. I think won't matter right now. So, I I mean, he's kind of um, pulling a jellyfish right now. I do like the way he's put in the trunk for his tree, though. So he's used the um, curve tool again, 
but this time he's soft blended it in so that it looks like it's just perfectly a part of the tree. I like the look of that quite a bit actually. Do you think Earth Acer would make this a game? <laughs> he could. He could go for the full logic in. And just for anybody tuning in right now, one wing asking how long this will go on for. Not 100% sure. If you want to take part yourself and have the beta, um, I, you can actually join the Discord, and we could try and get you in here as well if you are stream capable. Still, uh, I think Acert is going to potentially continue if we are going to continue going, but RBD said he might be leaving after this one. And speaking of him, let's take another look at what he's doing. It's been a little bit. Looks like he does have Forest in there now. What do you think? Some tight pink pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a smart way of recoloring it, though, where he's not actually trying to edit anything. He's just trying to recolor the specific pieces. That way he doesn't actually spend a lot of time actually changing the look of his uh, character. Yeah, it's a good call on using the color wheel instead of going to the tool menu. You, you, he's shaving off a couple of minutes or so. Now that he's got Forrest running in there, where does he take the scene? What does he add in next? Another puppet, it looks like. Yeah. But in this in this case, I mean, the next thing he could make is the bus. I believe there was a bus scene in um in that reference of the movie. I have not watched it in quite a long time, so I am not up to date on my Forrest Gump, unfortunately. Been about a decade for me, or more. <laughs> I'm hoping RBD's watched it uh, more recently because he's the one making it. This is a new rendition. Yeah, the Dreams rendition of Forrest Gump coming to a beta near you soon. Yep. He did animate he did animate um in the last scene so he he could animate this right here if he just pauses and Stops at these three characters or so. Yeah. And the fastest way to do that, and he has the default puppet already, so he could just do record possession. Actually, that's a good way of doing it, yeah. I forgot that you could just do it through possession. I've been using keyframes for a lot of stuff. Just trying to get a little bit of violent with some rocks to throw. Oh yeah, that's there's a keyframe right there. Maybe three, actually three keyframes, and just tweak the running settings of the puppet. Bam. Of course, after extending the platform, otherwise Forrest runs off a cliff, and that's not what happened in Louis. <laughs> this could be a little bit like the um, scene they showed yesterday, the pig detective on stream where it's just like the small area inside a building and you don't see the walls. It's an interesting way of doing it. I actually missed that one because when the stream happens, I'm everywhere. <laughs> uh, well, Acert, if we take a look at what he's doing, is still working on the trunk there. I think we should actually give a little bit of a listen to him, maybe see what he's actually saying. so We can get an idea of where he's going with this. <laughs> I give up. Oh, he instantly tuned into I I'm give up. Impasto, all right. What? Let's ruffle it. I yeah. unmuted to hear I all give right. up. Um, no, no, no. He's still going, but there we go. <laughs> I think he was a little bit lost there. Perfect. I could, I could right, see him do doing one. a quick. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he deleted the uh, tr the main what tree for a do? second. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's make it brown. Cool tip is to select both of he, them. He's losing his track of thought. Click on this. Change just. Click on but I really color. think he could have made a simple just game that color. just with the the, the trunk alone. Yeah. That is black. He could have. Wait a is this brown? I'm colorblind. I do like his little tip though there. I'm going to mute him again. He um, selected both of them. And then if you just touch the color briefly, it'll instantly change it for both of them. 
if he can make his trunk a little bit looser, I think he can start working on some additional details. He still has another 16 minutes, so I think he's a little bit ahead of where he was last time in his build for the geometric one, but he's still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, this is about where he started the logic, the bulk of the logic, right? Yeah, about at this time. But it, where he's at with his tree now, I think he could probably start adding some uh, additional trees or details pretty quickly now, hopefully. I was honestly a fan of the other color. Um, what he could also do is shape that up with the uh, paintbrush, sorry, spray paint. Yeah, that could add a lot of details. Food, add some kind of weathering to it, maybe some bark. He's trying to add in some limbs now, so we'll see if he actually adds in leaves as well. RBD, of course, with his Run Forest Run, does have both bullies in there throwing things now. Uh, and he now he should I I think what would add to the scene if it's just like a still kind of depiction of this. Um, add some paint trails to really show mid throw. Yeah. Rocks. Rocks That's a good idea. Paint. Plus, you can add some like wind stripes coming off a of forest. And Mess show just how fast through. he's going. Yep. There are certainly a lot of options he can go with. And of course, with how much time he has left, he has a lot of options for it. He and was right pretty good. Next to the tree, the main tree, you could add some, uh, you know, a couple of leaves. Fall. It's not necessarily yeah. fall, but leaves within the wind. If I remember correctly, there's like a fence in the scene as well. So he could probably put a fence in there. Maybe a so road. Everything just... Mm -hmm. Everything works off of each other. What he could also do is duplicate that rock. And <clears throat> there should be uh, just a couple of steps he has to do to clone it and animate a couple of rock um, rocks. I can't remember if I saw it or not, though. But um, something he might be forgetting. I don't know. Okay, he has gone into play mode. So it looks like he has actually done it. If you don't um, disable the movement for the puppets, they'll actually go right back into a standing position regardless of how you pose them. So he's oh, actually gone ahead and disabled that. I know I've made that mistake a couple times after posing them, and then when you go back in, you question why it's not working. Is he done already? Quick save. Wow. He's thinking at the same time. <laughs> he's still got quite a bit of time though so if he wants to take a little bit more he can but maybe he's just saying this is it this is my masterpiece nothing wrong with finishing early yeah eventually just to save at the end there though some kids in the class turn in their test papers five minutes in <laughs> yeah he does look like he's going to be editing it some more though Acert, on the other hand, still trying to mess with his branches here. They are looking very good, but I'm still concerned that he's just getting the one tree here for his forest. It's going to be a pretty empty forest. Maybe Acert's angle on this is just literally focusing on an element. Technically, in Dreams, um, an element is one single kind of object, for the most part, depicted by a hexagon. He adds in some leaves, though. I think it will start to look good. Oh, he will have a good-looking tree. Won't be much of a force if it's just one tree, unless the idea behind it is the force is no more. Yeah, that's the only tree that's left. Ooh, I think he just made a mistake there. He's deleted his trunk. Okay, it's back. It is quite the impressive tree, I will say that much though. That is an extremely large tree for how small that trunk is. All right, Jellyfish is actually using the spray paint tool now, but he's um, using it for the ground. Hey, he's stepping into uh, some good territory here. Got the path in. Now he's talking about the fence. 
Yeah, let's unmute him and take a Sounds listen. Sounds like he's seen the he sound. He's seen the movie. Maybe I should make this tree not such fucking garbage. Ooh. Oh wait. Wants well, a better like tree. tree. No. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't get stuck so in the bad. rabbit hole. No. Could always. Uh, he's got enough time to do a better bad. tree, though. That's true. <laughs> he's cloning it, though. Like cloning. Yeah, cloning. I think cloning is a clone first. See how it looks populated. Yeah. Like he said at the start, though, he's not made a tree before this. So for him to just jump in and make a tree is a little bit difficult. I know my first few were not very good looking trees. Uh, it took I like this first few. Uh, trunk better. Yeah. I I, yeah, I think he was on a good path with his original one. Um, this one now isn't too bad, but for a first simple. tree... It's it's pretty good. He is starting to do a new one. It looks like though potentially a little bit smaller tree. Acer, I'm hearing Acer over here um, talking about the ground now. He's going with a winter scene, so there's some contrast going on here. And if we check back in with Acer, he is starting to get some ground in. So at the very least, he's getting the ground floor of his florist there. That's good. It's a step forward for sure. Oh, I actually, I like this. I like this method better now. If he can get the forest floor in there and get that tree copied around, I think it'll look pretty good. I wonder if he's going for like a um, forest fire type thing. So like all the trees are burnt down or something. Forest fire? Acer? Yeah. yeah. No, I think it's just strictly winter. Oh. Dead of the winter. Yeah, that could be it as well. I figured he'd probably be coloring this after, but yeah, that that might just be winter. You might be right. Yeah, like you said, some snow prints. Um, maybe a couple of uh, twigs or so in the snow. All, all you do is just put some black painted objects in the ground. Yeah. It's not looking too bad now that he's got ground in, though. So it's a drastically different scene than what it was uh, just a couple minutes ago. I'm not seeing any uh, lighting. Um, nobody's really messing with any new lighting. No, he's not uh, messing with it quite and that, yet, and neither is RBD. The, the lighting would really affect that snow. Yeah, especially if you change, like, the... Um, reflectiveness of it you can make it a little bit more reflective throw some lighting on top of it and it could look quite good he's trying to group his tree together though looks like he forgot to do that originally missed one branch there once he gets that he should have fully assembled tree there you go so now we have to see what he does with this because he's still got another seven minutes left just about eight minutes actually He's got plenty of time to actually flesh this out if he does start duplicating the tree, which it looks like he is doing. And this is this is this is pretty interesting because jellyfish with the more lively scene in the summer, Acer with the more barren theme in the winter. Yeah. There's I don't even know which one to pick. I, I like them both right now though. You see the fence is starting up for RBD as well. He's got that pretty much finished now, actually. This scene is starting to come together quite a bit. Like you said, though, he's got no uh, difference in his sun yet. So I think if he can change that a little bit, maybe he could really make the scene pop and look quite good by the end of this. Lighting, forest, lighting. Nice little angle right here, though. Yeah. Acer is, I think he's getting some ice in there actually, maybe, or is that rocks? Uh oh, um, John's rock, John's rock technique perhaps? Yeah, could be. Get some um, color in there. Yeah. You there, there should be able to just go to the color um, wheel and get some slight 
huge difference. If you've selected white or a light blue, get some kind of frost. Hmm. Might just be painting over it over the top after though, but he's got that rock in there already. Doesn't look too bad. Now he's going to try and expand his scene, add some more snow in. Not looking bad, but again, still needs to flesh that out a little bit. And uh, like you said, the lighting I think is really what both of them are missing. Even if it's just a little bit, just a little adjustment, it would make somewhat of a difference. Acer doesn't have a camera down either. He is going into the gadgets now, so he might actually be, oh, he's getting a microchip in. Fancy. So he might just be congregating it all inside the microchip, being a uh, good person with his logic. As long as he doesn't start naming them this time, I think he's good. Uh-oh. He's, he's talking about leg. Did he, uh, how's this? No, his thermal looks good. He's just had, he has a little hiccup. Oh, RB... oh it's better to be careful when you're, you're cloning and making your original shapes. Yeah. I think he just was pretty case. good with them originally. He was sizing them before placing them down. Uh, RBD is getting a hoop in Tire. there. Yeah, I think it's a tire. Or, okay, is this a tire or a vehicle? Maybe he's going for the full vehicle. A bike. Totally forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, he's decided no bike. Not enough time. No bike. <laughs> yeah, how is the time? Uh, let's see. We got four minutes left, so there's still a little bit of time. I'm not concerned for RBD. His scene's looking pretty complete. I'd still like him to get those uh, lighting effects in there. Maybe some great effects too. But Acert, he is a little bit under the gun again. He's made a nice looking tree, but right now, without a camera in, without his uh, scene fully set up, he has actually got some lighting changes now. Trying to make some larger roots as well. I think that makes sense. His tree was looking a little bit weak for how tall it actually was. Why don't we take a listen to him as well? Okay. Okay, um, I like it, I like it. So, tree. Oh, there. <clears throat> Jellyfish is a little AFK or thinking. Trying to decide on what to do at the end there. Acer did say he liked what he was doing, but with only about two and a half minutes left here, I really hope he's going to be finishing up the rest of it as well. Even if he does like it, he could actually have a finished scene to really call it your own. Everybody has opened the text editor from that day on. If I want, was going somewhere. I was running. Very nice. Still missing out on the lighting that we've been pestering about, of course. Will he ever get it in there? Tune in next time for Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Two like the minutes left, and Acert is starting to duplicate a group of uh, dead trunks. That's nice. I like that he's getting the rotations in. That's an important part of when you're duplicating things in a scene like this. You can get rotations in on your objects, get them at different angles. You can make it look like there are um, actual different shapes in there very quickly without actually spending too much time on it. 
did Acert give up on the snow? Um, and because he said he wanted to get snow in there. If he wants snow, he's got a minute to do it. So he's got to be real fast if he wants to get that in. He's putting some rocks in there though. He doesn't know how much time he has left. Oh. Couple of rocks. Yeah. Just put some snow in there. I, I want to see the snow. That's enough rocks. Get this. Just put some paint in there. I don't think he actually and, has uh, a camera in there either. So he doesn't actually have anywhere to view his scene. Unless he just centers it right in the middle. He, he actually has enough time to like not even animate the snow, I guess, but just at least populate it. Scatter tool in the clone um, tab in the paint menu. You can animate it pretty quickly, though, if you just do one stroke, duplicate it, put pulse on, throw it in there real quick. But it looks like he won't actually be getting it in there as we are coming up to the end of the time here. Only 15 seconds remain for him to finish up his scene. Uh oh uh, he's not gonna have time to paint no that is gonna be it he did spend a little bit of extra time last time around but that is time now time is over at acert <laughs> oh the stream is loading for me Let's hop in with RBD. Hello. Hello. I like what you've done with the place. Thanks. It was my idea this time. That is actually clever. It's not originally what I would have thought of when I said forest. <laughs> it was the first thing I thought of. Also, yeah, um, so what happened with the, the bike idea, at, at first, you know, I thought it was a tire uh, with a rope on a tree branch, then I thought it was like a vehicle, and then the bike just disappeared after a while. Uh, I mean, I was just going to add a bike, because in the movie, the... Also, sorry, hold on, I'm going to mute my mic. And... <laughs> Lots of ideas pop up. You choose one or you choose none. That's, yeah. that's what it comes down to. Acer still seems to be working on his. Let's unmute and listen to him for a bit. Camera settings and I'll be done. Okay, it's uh, gone. Camera, uh, camera disc. The, the, yeah, the bike was just... Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, they like ride in on bikes in the movie. So I was going to make a bike in the background, but then I realized right, making I'm a bike done. was let's, a lot of effort. Let's go. Actually, so I didn't want to do it. Completely done. Uh, almost just, had it, though. That's, that's almost. I, I had two wheels. I do like how the full scene actually looks, though. I know you weren't a fan of your tree. We listened in when you said you thought your oh, tree yeah. was garbage. Um, <laughs> what happened to the first one? The, the first, first tree? tree? What was wrong with it? It was bad. I don't know. I didn't like how it looked. I think it's a good idea how you were doing it, though. Like... Um, because you can't actually do it if you're not using the move controllers, where if you use the smear tool, you can resize with one hand as you're going. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to do the thing that uh, Cream did, where you can rotate the shape as you're painting with it and make mm. like cool branches and stuff. But That's I true. didn't know how to do that, so I gave up on that. Do you know how to do that? Um, you, like rotate a sculpt really in sculpt mode, like while you're painting. You gotta be in smear mode and um, have the shape ready, and then like swipe it with the move button, I believe, on one of the controllers. Mm, Can you spin it the like camera? That? Well, you you could you could do stamp mode, but you're not gonna like smear it, obviously. Can you spin the shape that you're holding? Yeah. Not with the move button. Uh, it might be the T button then. T button opens menu hmm. on the left hand and right hand paints it. I'm not sure. I'd have to... Uh, he did talk about that on a stream, I think. Acer well. was talking about how he just... Oh, uh, right. Someone said... Oh, you tap circle twice. Right. Oh. And then you can oh. spin it with the trigger. Oh, yeah. that's I was missing out the stuff. <laughs> 
That's pretty cool. little shortcuts. Yeah. Well, if we don't, if you're not going to be doing another RBD, we might just be calling it here then. Unless Subtenko wants to jump in and make his own. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm done for now. Alrighty. Well, I definitely appreciate you coming on. It was uh, nice to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right. And uh, hopefully, once the beta is uh, back or the full release of the game is here, maybe we can actually do some better ones with more people. Yeah, I hope to do these again sometime. Yeah. Fun. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. That will do it for us. Acer, he's still okay. going away. He's Acer trying to make us really snow now. Like... Yeah. The 30 minute ends, and he's like, I need another 30 minutes. What, what was his that... idea this time? So he, he's after the party. <laughs> he did like a snowy scene. Here, I'll take a screenshot and just send it to you really quickly. He's done like a snowy scene, and he spent almost all his time making the tree itself. And then just very quickly at the end, he uh, like, popped some snow in, popped a rock in, and that was it. Oh, that's nice. He's doing snow now. Like, he said he was going to do snow, but... His tree is better than mine. <laughs> he has, like, a first-person character he can walk around in the scene in as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, pretty contrasty scenes. So I, I really enjoyed this one. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. A little stressful, but it was fun. Mm. All right, well, thank you two for joining me. I'll close out the stream without you, and you can close out your stream too, RBD, if that's what you're going to do. Appreciate sure. you coming on, and uh, hope to see you again for another one. Yeah, thanks again. Take care, everybody. Dude. You too. All right, so yeah, a dino, like you said, it's a neat concept for sure. Um, we'll just have Acerd on in the background here while I talk. Yeah, I like the idea of it a lot, and I'd love to get these going more um, once the actual game releases, more betas happen, as I think we can do some pretty cool ones. We only had Acer and RBD actually taking part this time because it was such short notice, what with the NDA lifting and how much time I had to put this together. But we had a number of other people express interest as well, like Slurm McKenzie might take part, Croso, um, J plus B said it might be an interesting thing, Disarmed as well said it it was a cool idea, but he probably wouldn't have time this weekend. It was a little burnt out as well. So hopefully in future, we can actually get this going with more people. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, if you guys, I don't know if any of you have the beta, but if you're going to be um, taking part, maybe I can get you guys to match up with Acer because I'm cool to solo cast some more if you guys are going to um, be here. Yeah, it's definitely like a game within itself. It's a different skill set as well um, to build things quickly because you need to like use these quick, dirty tricks because you don't ever have to like fully show everything when you're doing these quick scenes. There is the Discord that I just linked in the chat, so I will be hosting them from there in the future. Um, uh, yeah, so if you guys do want to join that, you can. And uh, in future, we can get you guys rolled into some potentially. I'm going to see if I can maybe join Acer to do some stuff. Got some snow looks like going in on his stream now. Yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in and I will catch you later.